surveyors and mapping scientists pinpoint the location of property and mark its outlines. They measure and map the surface of the earth. Their work serves to establish official boundaries for land, airspace, and waterways. Surveyors determine how a parcel of land lies and write descriptions for deeds, leases, and other legal documents. They also define airspace for airports and measure construction, utility, and mineral sites. The vast majority of surveyors work for engineering services or the government. A bachelor's degree is usually required or training at junior and community colleges, technical or vocational schools. Most states require a license for which the straightest line is four years of college, two to four years of experience, and an examination. A mapping scientist or cartographer usually has a bachelor's degree in a field such as engineering, forestry, geography, or a physical science. This profession draws on the information of surveyors and surveying technicians to prepare maps. Cartographers analyze and interpret both geographical information and social data, such as population size and density. Their work should be both artistically pleasing and meticulously accurate. These are not fast-growing fields, though jobs will continue to become available as experienced professionals retire. The surveying of land requires preparation, scheduling, and field work. Some of the equipment has evolved through centuries, such as measuring tapes and tripods with viewfinders. But today, high technology is brought to bear on the process. Several satellites link a global positioning system to the survey team's receiver for the latest in accuracy. Other advancements include improved aerial photography and geographic information systems, which are computerized data banks of special information. What has not changed is the need to spend a lot of time outdoors, hiking and climbing, to find just the right spot to take a measurement.